So ever since we fought Minos Prime, I've always been super excited to fight the next in line for the Ultra Kill bosses. And this is that next phase. Indeed, I have slept long enough. This, my friends, is Sisyphus Prime. That's right, we have another Prime we have to fight with his wonderful intro. Sisyphus Prime. Big health bar. I have never played Ultra Kill, my friends. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be insane. Hold up, man. Let me get a gun first. Alright, guys. So, in order to make this mod work, I have a dodge button that is totally going to help me in the long run. Now... Let's go ahead and try to shoot him, because it's hard to even see what the hell is going on right now. Alright. A moment of respite. And you can see, when we do get <laughs> a little bit of damage in, it's not much. So we do have the parry, but I don't think it's gonna really matter, unless I really time it. You know what, screw it, let's just try the parry. This music, by the way, is so epic. Um, am I... Am, am I parrying, right? Alright, sorry about that guys, I had to turn the music off. Thankfully with the amazing DRG bass, you can go ahead and turn off the individual soundtracks for each NPC you have. Alright, let's go ahead and try that again. He's going to do his monologue. I'm gonna see if we can get some early gunfire in. Nope, of course not. Alright, honestly, I'm probably gonna buy the game after this video. It, it's been a long time coming. I should have bought the game a long time ago. I probably spoiled the game by spawning in Minos and Sisyphus, but I'm not in it for the story, I'm in it for the gameplay. I'm hoping to emulate some of that in today's video. So not only am I going to have maximum suit, but I'm also going to spawn health vials and suit batteries all over the place so I can, well, restock. Because I definitely will need to in this fight, so shooting him, you're going to notice we do a nice amount of damage. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that another health bar under there? I really hope it's not. Let's go ahead and let him loose. And let's see if we can try to get a few hits. Now, it's much easier now that there's not a bunch of music going on. Now, thankfully, again, we can shoot and parry at the same time. If I just keep spamming it, maybe something good will happen, I hope. Although, fun fact, you cannot parry when you're reloading, so... I need to make sure I keep an eye on that. So honestly, tactics just kind of go out of the window with this guy. I mean, like, I could try to parry. Oh wow, now he's taunting me. But let's be honest, I'm gonna be- Oh no, I actually got a parry and it did a lot of damage. This is honestly one of the scariest boss fights I've ever had to face. If it's anything like this in the real game, my god, what a hard game that must be. So he's got a bunch of different attacks. Honestly, it's hard to even know what he's doing. I feel like I'm in the middle of a Dragon Ball Z fight right now. Oh, and we actually did do a nice amount of damage. I'm going to try to parry some of his attacks. No promises, though. You guys know I <laughs> suck at parrying. And he's jumping all over the place. Okay, I just got to know. And I knew it. There is another health bar under there, so... Guys, really bring the best of your weapons in this fight. It is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Oh, and I got a parry. Not that it did much. Okay, you know what? I really should have got the mod where I heal from shooting. That would have been perfect. All right, now we are properly outfitted with the proper mods. And you're going to see that our chance of survival went from 0% to 5%. Alright, to be fair, if I can just get a few good hits on him, I'm pretty much going to be back at full health. Although, it's important to understand I have to be very close to him, unless I of course change the settings. Which of course I went ahead and did because I am a noob. But now I have a slim chance to actually do something, and we can get a better look at his attacks. And obviously he's got a lot of crazy attacks just flinging you around the place. I mean, they say you can dodge, but let's be honest here. I don't think you're dodging his attacks. Dude is just way too big. Although, of course, if you want, you could try to parry, but... Oh, right there, I just got one. 
chances are it probably most likely is not going to be enough because he is just always going all over the place. I thought this map would be big enough, but obviously I was definitely wrong. All right, I'm gonna try to play it cool. Oh, he was open there for a minute. The fact that he does jump around you like that is really smart and interesting, like such an epic boss fight. Right there, if I did not shoot, I would have been super dead. And we got another parry, some good damage there too. But I'm still having trouble surviving. I mean, maybe if I had like an LMG or something. This is seriously an epic boss fight though. And if you're really good at the game and you get used to his moves, which I'm sure I would if I play this for like 10 hours straight, then this could be one of the most epic fights in Gary's Mod, if not the most epic fight ever. I thought Middle's Prime was pretty good. I think this tops it. So fun fact, I think there's something different about him. He apparently has two phases. I don't know if he's any more aggressive. It's kind of hard to tell when I'm being pummeled around all the time regardless. But it does look like his hair is slightly different. In fact, I'm going to go ahead just because this is a showcase. I'm going to go ahead and just pause one so I can breathe. Two, so we can compare the second phase and the first phase. So it does look like there's two phases. Indeed there is. We can see he's more like Kratos now. Which, uh, is fitting, all things considered. But yeah, we can see his beard is pretty much non-existent. And then he gets the big old bush beard with the long hair. And again, along with that, I imagine some new attacks. As well as some more aggressive attacks. Because this dude is already pretty damn aggressive. <laughs> And maybe the damage was cranked up too, I don't know. But if you guys ever wanted to watch some dude in the Midwest get bodied by some guy in a game he's never played, then this is your video. Alright, new plan. When he does that explosion, just keep firing on him. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think it's working! Oof! I am barely living, guys. This is getting way too close. Oh, I parried! No, no way. I parried him in the air, come on. I deserve some credit for that. I also noticed his body is starting to look a bit different too. You can start to see these like weird outlines. Man, it is so hard to see where he's gonna come from. I know it's behind me, but then I turn around and then he's behind where I thought was behind me. But there we go. Sisyphus Prime has been defeated. Sisyphus, a fitting end to an existence defined. And I don't regret a second one. <laughs> what an epic ending, guys. This dude has my absolute respect. I honestly feel bad for the guy now, but that was a pretty damn epic boss fight. I wanted this to be a mini mod showcase, but now I'm not so sure. Um, yeah, Minos Prime, Sisyphus Prime, two fantastic NPCs that I imagine are very close to the original game. So let me know what you guys think. Have you ever played Ultra Kill? And I dare you to give this a try with your favorite mods. I recommend, of course, the parry mod, the dash or dodge mod, which I didn't use all that much. And of course, a pair of your best weapons because you're going to need them. This is an epic fight. I highly recommend this, guys. If you want to leave a like or subscribe, links will be in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this until the end. And until next time, farewell.